Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another life cycle hook that is NG after view checked. So what is this NG after view checked and what is the difference between this NG after view init and also this NG after view checked. I already we have already discussed about the NG after view init and NG after content check content init. So now NG after view check. So first we will try to see about the NG after view init which we have already discussed. So these two are the lifecycle hooks, but these serve different purposes in the component and the directive lifecycle. So just I will try to explain you about the ng after view unit. So now this hook is called ng after view unit hook is called after angular has been fully initialized the components view and also its child views. It is invoked only once, whereas ng after view check it will be invoked or whenever there is a change detector. So where this hook is called after the default change detector has completed checking the components view and also the child views. So that is one thing. So that means ng after view check will be, will be called all the time. So now in the summary what I want to tell you is ng after view init is used for initialization of the task that required the view to be fully loaded and it will run only once. In contrast ng after view check is used for operations that need to be performed after each change detection cycle, especially when responding to the changes in the data or the DOM. So both are the powerful tools in the Angular lifecycle, but must be uh, used very carefully to maintain the app performance and the stability. So I will try to show you a simple example where ng after view init and ng after view checker will be used. So now here I am creating a new uh, component checker lifecycle. So just I am creating a new component. And here in this one app.component.html and here in our app.component.ts file. So here in these both files. So when this component lifecycle has been created, we will try to add it. So check to lifecycle, right? Let it, let it create. So it will take some time in my system. So the component has been created. So let's try to add it in our uh, here. So check the lifecycle component and let's go into the app component.html file so i want to use it here in our div app iphone check lifecycle okay so this is our component and here you'll be able to see check lifecycle works so now the component has been initialized so what does i want to do in this component is let's go into our check lifecycle component.html file check lifecycle component.ts file and check lifecycle component.cs file so completely will work on this component only and here I will be creating due. Okay, so here I will be creating a check to lifecycle component, right? So the complete code I will be writing it here. So in this one, first what we will try to do is we'll try to design the HTML. So first one, what I will try to do is Angular lifecycle hook. So just it's an example. Sorry, hook. And first I will create a input field. Input type is equal to text and we need to access this one right so for that one what i will write is input field i can use it as an input field so this is our first input field so in order to capture this input field what we need to do is so here i can use at the rate view child of at the rate view child of input field okay and we can use it whatever the name you want you can use it input field we can use it and here i can write the element name input element and it should be of type element ref okay element ref so this is our thing and now here if you try to refresh this page we should be able to see why it's not coming uh, here i have refreshed i have placed it so now i let's let us restart this one so maybe it has been created right so maybe that could be the issue so now one thing is completed so now i want to create the items in, in this one so here i can have items is equal to i can have item one oh sorry item one item two item three okay so these are the three items and we are having the items ng after view in it ng after view unit so this is our ng after view unit and here in this one what we will do is uh, this is our ng after view unit so we need to capture this input field so in this input field we can capture it using this dot input field input element dot native element 
dot focus so at the starting of this one so we will get the focus thing so this will be uh, this will be executed only once so that is the reason we are able to see the focus here and here if you see the console.log after view init 5 so when the complete view has been initialized then this hook will be fired so that this element will be available to us so now we have fired this one so let's go here and i will show you the inspect element so that in our console you will be able to see okay and here we are having this one so now ng after view unit has been fired now next what i want to do is so here we will try to uh, go to our html we have items right so let's try to loop over the items here i will be having div hash scroll container okay scroll container and in this one scroll container i will be having one div and i will loop over each one ng for item of items and here i will be having an item okay and this ng for and all those things we will be having a common module that's it so this is our html and here we are having this item 1 item 2 item 3 right so now what we need to do so here do scroll container is there and here we will be having a button so button add item and i will do a click event so we'll discuss about these all click events and all those things just i am trying to explain you add item so i will be having this add item now this add item we need to initialize it here so i will be having this add item and in this one this dot items dot push this dot items dot push of item dollar of <coughs> this dot items sorry this dot items dot length plus one okay so that's it so now when you try to refresh this page so when i am clicking on this one we are able to get a new item so fine this one is working now let's try to do some css so here i will be having the class class is equal to scroll container and for this scroll container i will be having something like scroll container and for this one what i will try to do is so here i can apply a border of one pixel solid hash ccc and i can apply a padding of 10 pixel okay and uh, what we can do is we can have a width of around 200 pixel okay and also we can have a height of around 100 pixel okay so these are the things which we can apply i think most probably these are the things i think so that's it so if you want you can also apply margin also okay we will try to apply margin whatever thing margin hey, sorry margin top is equal to 10 pixel so this is our box now when i am clicking on this add item so we are able to see these all items so this is coming overflow right so we can write something like overflow auto or anything fine that's it so now if you try to see this is our height and if i try to click on this one so we are able to a yeah, scroll so whenever we are adding an item this scroll should be automatically show it should be showed down so that means the new item which we are adding item 10 should be in the focus one so it should be in the viewport so for this one what we can do is so whenever we are adding an item whenever we are adding an item and that too after the view has been initialized so we need to move the scroll bar to the bottom so how can i move this one so the, for this reason the exact life cycle will be ng after view check ng after view check so now this life cycle will be executed all the time whenever a change detection has been occurred and afterwards after the change detection after the view has been initialized so in this one i will try to do this dot scroll to bottom so i am using some method this dot scroll to bottom so this is our method and the scroll to bottom okay and in this one so what we can do is scroll to bottom so here we can use this try catch error thing we can use it so here i can have something like i will do it like this so this dot scroll container so we don't have a scroll container and here we have added with an hashtag scroll container we need to implement that one using the view chain okay so that is nothing but scroll container 
and I will be using the same name the scroll container and that's it so now we are able to see here I am using scroll content scroll top scroll height now whenever I am clicking on this one so we are able to get this item okay so this is how we can get it now when I am clicking on this one also you can also use this add item like this we can also use it so this is how we will be doing so now whenever you are trying to click here so it is coming at the bottom the scroll is moving at the bottom now when you try to implement the same thing in ng do check so ng do check also it will execute all the time whenever uh, the change detection has happened right so when you try to do here so here you will be able to see it is it is moving down so if you try to see here the last item we are not able to get it so for example if i click here see 12 is coming down and of course 13 is coming down why because ng do check will fire immediately whenever the change detection has been happened whereas the ng after view checked will fire whenever the change detection has been ha ha happened and the, and the view has been initialized so the view has been executed then only this one will be fired so that means then we will be able to get this all the data so this is the main usage of this ng after view check hope you understood about this concept so what i will try to do is i will commit this code in a new branch that is nothing but video hyphen 17 so i will be i will be committing this entire code so i will be providing the uh, github repository url in the description below who are maybe having doubts they can refer to that code and here ng after view check okay so that's it guys about this one so who are maybe having doubts or any suggestions uh, please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you